howdy, howdy. Welcome back to Studio 3 for another Explorations in Rhythm A class. I am Cassidy, and I'm joined by... Lenny. And... Gage. Cool. So we are going to get going with class today, like always. I want you to find this spot in your house where you can kind of spread out in a really good ready position. Um, and as always, you might want to gather some stuff to do when we get to playing some instruments or, or to play on when we get to, to that point. So things that you can hit, things that you can um, shake today we'll use. Um, last week we played this new instrument, so maybe you were using something from your kitchen to, to play that metal sound. So if you need to go gather anything, go ahead and gather your materials and just set them to a side to the side like we've done because of course we're gonna first get started with our warm up. So go ahead and find yourself a nice and comfortable ready position. If you'd like to sit on the floor at crisscross applesauce like we do in class, you can do that. If you want to sit up in a chair or a stool like we're doing today, you can do that as well. Wherever you are though, you can find a ready position where you've got your hands in your lap, your focus face is on me, showing me you're ready to listen and ready to learn. And I'm going to play a beat on our speaker. And when you hear it, just like in class, I want you to go to your set position just like that and follow whatever I do. All right, so let's see what we got, what Gage programmed for us today. Ooh. So let's see if we can get in our set positions. And we're going to just pat the feet on our legs. shake it out. So today I want to see if we can jump right into playing a rhythm that we've been working on together a lot on an instrument that we've been talking a lot about. 
So the instrument, of course, that I'm talking about is the king drum. That's one of its nicknames. We call it the king drum because it is the ruler of all the other um, West African percussion instruments. So hopefully you know the name of this drum. We've been talking about it a lot. It's been um, really important to the music we're playing. It is, of course, the djembe. So we're going to jump right in today, and we're going to see if we can play some djembe. Now, to get us warmed up on our djembe's, I want to see if we can do some rhythm reading. So on our djembe's, I'm gonna, we're going to play some rhythms that I put up here. We've been learning about notes called quarter notes, notes called eighth notes, and then last week our new notes we started learning about were sixteenth notes. Okay, so I want to see if we can use our rhythms to help us get warmed up on our djembe. So you can go ahead and get set with your oops, oopsie daisy with your uh, instruments at home, whatever you're using. Now I'm going to see if I can set our music up right here. So we're going to start with just these quarter notes. So if you remember how to maybe that's not going to work. I don't know. Let's see, if you remember how to count these. I want you to say it out loud. So if you remember how to count these rhythms, I want you to say it. There are four of them. So we count it one, two, three, four. So we're gonna use these quarter notes, these four quarter notes to practice our bass tones on our djembe's. So go ahead and if you don't have a djembe, we've been reminding you that you can always use a bucket. That works great for practicing djembe. So if you've got a real djembe, if you've got a different kind of drum, if you've got a bucket, whatever it is, get in your set position over what's going to be our bass tone. So remember that's in the middle. It gives us that low, deep sound. And we're going to play that rhythm over and over. One, two, three, four. Make sure you're counting and put your focus faces, your eyes right on the music, okay? Here we go. One, two, ready, play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Are you counting? Three, four. One, two, 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 ready, and stop. Nice. So those are our quarter notes. Now we've also talked about this kind of note where we've got two on each beat. So they got to go a little quicker. And in a measure of music, there are eight of them. So what are these called? Do you remember? Eight notes. Eighth notes. Yeah, we've got our eighth notes and we count those one and two and three and four and. So for these, we'll definitely go back and forth and alternate so we can do that. Let's see if we can practice our open tones on the djembe to play that measure of music, okay? So we're gonna just play a whole measure of eighth notes on our open tones. So if you've got a djembe, we're gonna move to the edge. If you've got a bucket, you can still move to the edge. We're gonna go back and forth. Count it while you play it. Ready and go, and one. we started talking about the next fastest note. So these notes, you gotta squeeze four sounds, four little taps or beats or whatever you're playing into one um, beat of music. So these notes go quite a bit faster and they are called... 16 notes. Oh man, she's quick. You guys gotta be quicker at home. Hopefully you beat her to it. 16th notes, can you say that? 16th notes. Yeah, so these are our 16th notes. And the way that we count these 16th notes is we go one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So here, let's practice first playing our 16th notes on our bass tones, okay? We'll do it a couple of times. Let's do our 16th notes as bass tones. Count it while you play it and just keep going over and over until I tell you to stop. Set position. Ready and a go, E and a one. Now we're 
going to do that same rhythm on our open tones. So 16th notes practice on our open tones. Ready and a go. our 16th notes. Very good. Now I want to jump into that rhythm that we've been practicing, that cuckoo rhythm on the djembe, where we use our bass tones and our open tones. The rhythm actually, if I were to kind of write it out, would look like this. A mixture of quarter notes and eighth notes. And then I got to place those either on open tones or on bass tones. So this is what the rhythm would look like. One, two, and three, four. And of course we know we're playing that as bass, open, bass, then open. Yep. So let's see if we can play that cuckoo pattern together on the djembe, okay? Say something while you're playing it. Maybe you want to count the rhythm. Maybe you want to say the names of the tones, but say something. So go ahead and get in your set position. And remember, for this one, we're going to start with one hand over the base area in the middle and one hand over the open. One, two, and ready, go. Base. djembe part, the cuckoo part. Now we've been putting that together with a melody that I've been playing on the vibraphone called Kumbaya. So what I want to do now is I want everybody to play that djembe part along to Kumbaya. I'm going to get back here behind the vibraphone. <clears throat> so your part is going to stay exactly the same. You can follow Gage and Lainey. They're going to help you out on that djembe part. So if you've got a real djembe at home, great. If you don't, you're playing on a bucket, that works too. So I'm going to get going. We'll go about this fast. So we're going to play bass, open, bass, stop. One, two, and three, four. Just like that, all right? So here we go. One, two, gym, bass. Kumbaya on the djembe's. So let's go ahead and put those to the side. So whatever you're using, you can go ahead and get it, get that out of your hands. Let's slide this out of our way too. Cool. So last week we started learning about how to put two instruments together at the same time. You guys are coming becoming really good percussionists. Percussionists have to do that a lot. They have to play more than one instrument at the time. So we talked about how to put these big African bass drums. Hopefully you remember what those are called. Doo -doos. The dunoons. We learned how to put these different dunoons together with their matching 
size of this instrument. This is our new instrument that we drew in our journals last week. This is one called, remember it's like the food? The banana. banana. The banana bell. Yeah, so we learned how to put our banana bells together with our dunu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and remember I kind of use that pointy side to clip it in. That's not a good spot. <laughs> we're going to put it right there into the dunes. And we're going to play with one hand on our banana bell. And then we're going to use our other hand to play on our dunes. And we talked last week about if you don't have dunes at home, I don't expect you to. It works really well to use a bucket and to hit on the metal handle of the bucket and then just use a stick to play on the head. So. You can use a bucket to practice with us at home, but we're gonna play quarter notes for this. We're just gonna play one, two, three, four, over and over. It's kind of like the heartbeat of our music. So let's practice that together as a review. One, two, ready, go. banana bell and the dunu together. So that's one of our parts for our, our kumbaya song. Now, today I've got a new instrument to show you. This one is pretty cool. So I'll bring it up close so you can see it. Here is our new instrument today. Let's check that out. This also comes from countries in West Africa, just like our djembe and our dunes and our banana bells, all the stuff we've been learning about. And this instrument is made out of the same material as the banana bell, that, that metal, the iron. It's a little bit heavy. And if you'll notice, this instrument kind of has two things on it, two different sizes of bells. So this one is called the Gankogi. I know that's a crazy name. Can you say Gankogi? Gankogi, yeah, that's hard to say. Now the way that we're gonna make music with the Gankogi, we're not gonna shake this. It doesn't really have anything in there to shake. It's empty on the inside. But we're actually gonna use a stick to hit and listen to the different sounds that this instrument can make. So you can make different melodies with this instrument because it has a small bell that makes a high pitch and it has a bigger bell that makes a lower pitch. So I, I'm guessing, I'm going out on a limb and guessing that nobody has a Gonkogi at home. Probably not. That's okay. Um, if you have, some of you I know have been in Wee Drum class with me and you graduated up to this Explorations and Rhythm A and maybe at home, you have one of these. Remember, we made these to be like the Akoko bells, which are very similar to our Gankogi. So maybe you have something like this. This would be a great thing to practice this Gankogi on. If you don't have this, you could still go grab two things from the kitchen to play on, two different sizes. As long as you've got two surfaces to hit or two different things to hit, then you can practice the Gankogi. So, Find something to play. If you've got a pencil, that's a good thing to kind of use as your little stick. Just find two surfaces to hit. And right now for our Gonkogi pattern, we're gonna do what I call the tick tock. So we gotta use a really good focus faces to make sure we're hitting in the right spots. But we're gonna go from the little bell to the big bell. And we're gonna go back and forth. And when we do that, I think it sounds a little bit like tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, just like that. Let's see if we can do that together. So whatever you've got, go ahead and get in your set position with whatever kind of stick you're using. One, two, ready, go. Tick, tock. Ready and set. 
Nice. So that's going to be our gone kogi part for our piece of music we're putting together with Kumbaya. Tick tock. Nice and steady. Now, hang on to your gone kogis. Lainey has over there an instrument that we haven't looked at in a little while. Does anyone remember what this one's called? A hache. Nice. Gage got it. Hopefully you got it too. It's the hache. And when we play the hache, we're going to play it right on our leg. Now, if you don't have a hache at home, I think we talked about this a while ago, but you can use any kind of homemade shaker. This one's made out of an old um, milk jug and some different caps, some bottle caps and marker caps. And you can use that to play the hache part. So me and Lainey will show you how that goes. We're going to play it right on our legs and we're going to use our quarter notes. So we're going to play hache. One, two, ready, go. Hache. So see if you can do that with us. If you've got an instrument, you can play. If not, you can just gauge it in. Um, part for our piece of music we're putting together nice and nice and solid and steady quarter notes with that shaker so we've got our hache now Lainey she's pretty talented and she can actually do lots of things at one time we all we all can do that but but she's really good at playing the hache part with her gan kogi you see how she's doing that so maybe at home you want to figure out a setup to do that but if not that's okay you can either play her hache part or you can play her, her gankogi part, hachi or gankogi. So she's going to do those two things. And then Gage, he's going to be doing the banana bell and dune parts that we've been practicing. So right now, decide which one you want to do. Decide if you want to play the dune and banana bell, or maybe you want to play the gankogi. Maybe you want to play the hache. Maybe you want to try both of them together. So decide what you want to do. Go ahead and get situated for that. And I'm going to go back here to the vibraphone because we're practicing that piece of music kumbaya and i want to see if now we can put these sets of instruments together for kumbaya so here we go we've got dune and banana bell we've got our gan kogi and we've got our hache okay so i'll bring them all in separately once you start keep going let's start with how about just the dune part djembe part face open face face open so you decide which one you want to play and i'm going to get my music going here and the first instrument this time that i want to come in is actually my hot jays okay there you go so if you're playing the hot part with laney you can join her on that 
right, the next one I want to add is the Gan Koji, our new instrument. So playing that TikTok. That's good. Alright, so djembe players, if you chose to play the djembe, think about your part. Face open, face step for one, two, and three, four. Alright, here it comes. One, two, djembe go. this again and try out different instruments. So we're going to go ahead and get all of our instruments out of our hands because we're going to take some notes. So go ahead and grab your journal. And today we're going to draw our new instrument that we learned about, which is the Gonkogi. The Gonkogi, that's right. It's kind of a, a funky name. So get your journals out and flip to your next page. <clears throat> Go ahead and write today's date. So it's 4 April 21-20. So go ahead and write that down at the top of your page. If you need help from mom or dad, I'm sure that they would be happy to help you. And we're going to draw our Gon Kogi right here. So we've got our little curly cue at the top with the little handle part. And then our smaller bell is kind of shorter and then the bigger bell like that not bad so see if you can draw something like that that looks like the gonkogi and the way that you spell this one is g a n k o g u I. So see if you can get all that down. And of course, we know that we play the gun kogi with a little stick. So you can draw your stick beside it. So see if you can get all of that down. Awesome job with your rhythm reading today. Awesome job putting all those different instruments together for our piece of music, Kumbaya. You do a really good drawing. Again, I've been saying this a lot, but you can share it with us on Facebook so we can all see. That'd be cool. And a quick little reminder um, to families, next week is our final week of the semester. So we'll have one more week of virtual content and that'll wrap up our semester for now. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out via email and we'll do our best to answer them. And as always, Keep up with those Sunday newsletters. That's where you'll find all the latest announcements and updates if we've got anything for you. So make sure you're reading those and keeping up. All right, hopefully you got your Gonkogis drawn. I miss you guys. We'll talk soon. Great work today. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.